Hey everyone, my name is Josh Rhodes and I am a super happy Longtail Pro customer. And uh, what I've been able to do with Longtail Pro is use it in multiple businesses. I actually am one of those crazy serial entrepreneurs and I discovered Longtail Pro about three or four years ago uh, while building one of my niche sites. Um, and now that particular site is a six-figure business for me. But I also use Longtail Pro in a local lead generation business um, uh, that I do as well as a sales funnel building business for online entrepreneurs. So my website is groovymarketing.biz where I do coaching, consulting, blogging about sales funnels. But today I want to show you my favorite, I guess my go-to activity when it comes to Longtail Pro, when I'm going to create a money site, when I'm going to enter a new niche, when I'm looking for a new place for monetization, I always go to Longtail Pro because what I've learned is that there are small hinges that swing big doors. And while Longtail Pro doesn't build websites, it doesn't build sales funnels, it doesn't uh, do SEO, it doesn't do all that stuff for you, it's the research and it is the literal hinge that my entire business has uh, been built around uh, that I referred to. So all that being said, I'm going to transition the video now and show you just my favorite feature of Longtail Pro and why it's so important when it comes to building an online business. Okay, so I'm here on my dashboard. Uh, the keyword research uh, tab here on the top left. Um, and this is basically the simple practice that I do. Um, exercises of 30 minutes or less usually can help me find a profitable, profitable niche and opportunity that I can build uh, websites, SEO, and just general sales funnels around, okay? So here's what I do. It's really actually primitive, and I'm, there's probably some Longtail Pro users who are way better at this than I am, but I'm just going to show you what worked for me. So I always go and create a project here uh, by hitting the little plus sign, and you can see I have a lot of projects, and I would encourage you that, or tell you that if you become active, the more projects you have, it's kind of like shots on goal in soccer, you know, it's not the most important thing, like actually scoring the goal, but you pretty much have to create a lot of searches or projects so that you can finally narrow down your best opportunity. But when I finally uh, identify somewhere I want to be online, a, a niche or a vertical that I want to be, I'll give you this one, for example, Kauai. Well, that's just what I called it. What I'm really looking at and looking into is Kauai real estate. Uh, and I'm sure I'm working on helping a, a local lead generation client, an agent, um, rank uh, for a particular keyword so that they can get inbound high intent uh, search leads who are looking for to buy homes in Kauai, obviously a luxury destination. So I create my Kauai um, project. And the way I almost always start, unless I already know the keywords that, uh, in the particular niche, I usually start with the Google AdWords suggestion bar, even though I may not even be running Google AdWords, because this will create multiple uh, keyword ideas, semantics, you get my drift, that then I can build around. So I, I kind of let long tail uh, use the Google suggested keywords as an idea, and so it'll it'll you know it'll spit out a bunch of a bunch of keywords for you here, and you can you know obviously filter in and out. You can choose how many uh, suggested keywords you want. You can go up to four hundred, I believe. But um, that's if I just really do not know what the keywords are in that vertical. Um, but if I have an awareness of the vertical, like I do for real estate, I know that most of the time in certain markets, people are searching for phrases like homes for sale and then enter the city, state, geographic location. So what I was able to do quickly is discover by sorting through the volume is that Kauai real estate uh, is, is the highest volume search, right? 
and uh, you even have some of these other niches. And I always look, and this is not, I, I just am always looking for average KC or keyword competi competitiveness scores of under 30, right? Um, if it's under 30, I've found that I can almost always get on page one. Uh, time is relative. It's not always the same time, and it's not you know it's up to your SEO abilities. But um, volume and KC, along with industry opportunity, that's kind of my formula. If I know that the industry, for example, real estate agents or um, uh, garage door repair uh, businesses or um, tow truck drivers or any local business who need their phone to ring, I kind of know what I'm looking for. It's usually the need, the keyword plus geography. And I plug it in uh, to the manual keyword um, here. So for example, homes for sale, uh, Kauai. I'll keep it really uh, general. And this will uh, obviously produce this search right here, there's 2,900 searches per month uh, of people looking for homes for sale in Kauai. And then based on the keyword competition, I'll know if I want to attack that from an SEO standpoint. And if not, I'll just keep moving down until I find one that even still has enough volume for it to matter um, specifically like in real estate where commissions are going to be you know, five to ten thousand dollars on a sale. So maybe it is worth our time because there's high ROI on the other end. So anyway, I use the the relevant keywords in the vertical plus the keyword competitiveness plus volume, and I mix all that up, I ball it all up together, and that's kind of like an ROI recipe that I use with Longtail Pro. If Longtail Pro doesn't tell me there's an opportunity there. I don't pursue it because at the end of the day, what Longtail Pro is really doing, not only is it showing me my opportunities, but it's also showing me what not to waste my time on. And if you value your time, $1,000 an hour, $10,000 an hour type work, this is the $10,000 an hour work that you can do for your online business. So anyway, Josh Rhodes, groovymarketing.biz. Hope this was helpful. Thanks to everyone the long tail pro team for putting out this excellent excellent tool that i use all the time see ya